Hi, I'm Wari from TimeToPlayMag.com here with an educational board game, Rock and Math from Educational Insights. We love the tagline for this game. It takes more than song, style, and fans to be a rock star. It takes math. And the object of this game is to correctly answer three questions at each venue and be the first player to reach the International Music Awards. So all players, with their little star-shaped pawns, start on the number one spot in the garage band venue, where all rock stars start, of course. And what's really cool is that the game board is not only guitar-shaped, but it's the, the bottom half of the, the box. So that's very cool. It's an all-inclusive game. So basically, players just take turns drawing question cards. So if you're in the garage band venue, you draw a garage band card. If you're in the other venues, you draw cards from those respective venues. You read the question, and then if you answer it correctly, you can move to the next spot. So this is a math game, so all the questions are going to be math problems. And this one says, your band's new song, Recess Princess, had 27 bars of music. Each bar of music had four beats. How many beats of music were in the entire song? Now don't worry, you can use paper and pencil to solve these problems. And some of them come with multiple choice answers. So the correct answer to this one is 108. Did I help you out? Hopefully that helped you wrecking your brain. Don't, don't think too hard. We're, we still got to get through the rest of this review. Now you move along to the different spots. There are three in each venue. If you make it to the third spot in the GarageBand venue and answer a question correctly, then you move to the recording studio, where you must then answer another three questions correctly to move on through the other venues. The other venues include Glitz Mall, Release Party, Rock Relief, and the International Music Awards. If you answer a question incorrectly, you just stay in your current spot on the game board. You might also encounter special cards throughout the game, such as private pass cards which allowed you to skip directly to the first spot in the next venue as long as you have answered one question correctly in your current venue. Then there are action cards, and these offer players a choice to do what the card says. In this case, invent one completely new dance move and perform it for your opponents. Or if you don't feel comfortable acting that out, you can always just choose another card. You also might encounter cards that have you go back a space, so beware of those. This helps kids eight and out practice addition, subtraction, multiplication, fractions, and percentages, and a whole lot more, and it's also a great refresher for parents. Kids with an interest in math will enjoy playing this game, but even if your child doesn't really like math, doesn't think it's fun, this music-themed board game really does make solving math problems fun. It's for two to four players, and if you want to find out more information on this game, such as how much it costs and where to buy, then come visit timetoplaymag.com, your number one source for all things play.